In this video, we will learn how to make this weather station. Things you will need. ESP8266 based node MCU, DHT11, 128 by 64 OLED display, prototyping board and jumper wires. Let us make the connections. Connect the VCC pin of OLED and DHT11 to 3.3 volt pin. Ground to the ground pin. D3 on the node MCU to the output of the DHT11. SDA to SDA. SCL to SCL. Now we will make all the connections on the prototyping board. Note that both the OLED and DHT work with 3.3 volt input. Now we will look at the libraries and the codes involved. Make sure you have the ESP8266 board manager installed. Select the board you are using. In this case it's the Node MCU. The first library required is the ESP8266 weather station. Next we need the ESP8266 drivers for SSD1306 displays library. Next comes the JSON streaming parser library. I will now show you the weather station demo example that we get from the weather station library. It is a good to go example with a few adjustments but does not include the DHT11 part of the code. We will now take a look at my edited version of the code and understand it. Let's download the library for the DHT support before we proceed. It goes by the name DHTLIB. Enter the name of your Wi-Fi and its password in these fields. Enter the hours and minutes you are ahead of GMT time. For India it is GMT plus 5.30. 10 is the interval in minutes between every refresh of the on-screen internet data. SDA is connected to D2 pin and SCL to D1 pin. This is the address of your OLED. You need this API key to connect to the website Open Weather Map and get the weather data. Now I will show you how. Sign up first then log in into the website. Now follow the steps to get the API key and paste it into your code. Now you need your location ID if you are outside the United States. Follow the steps to get that. Enter the code for your desired language. All the codes are mentioned above. 
These are the days and months representations and will be shown in the same way in your GUI. These are the number of frames in my edited code and the name of all those frames are mentioned here. Here you select the pin to which your DHT is connected. We use this to decide the direction the frames slide to. This code in the setup is used to show my logo and some starting text which takes about 30 seconds. This is also the amount of time the device will need to refresh and show the correct data when first starting. Here all the functions are defined for the various frame data and for the working of the weather station. I have added functions for displaying the room temperature and humidity from the DHT11. These are all the various other functions. Go through them and you will understand them. Now let us upload the code and see it work. It takes about 1 to 2 minutes to upload the code. You can check the description for the code and various other details regarding the weather station. If you enjoyed the video, consider a like and subscribe.